Hey guys, so I was making this house and I noticed that everything just sounded so dull, so I decided why not add some extra sound effects to go with it. So, for instance, if I'm walking into this room, normally, if I was in a real world situation, walking through a smaller room would have kind of a deeper pitch sound effect, because the sound really reverberates off the walls. Um, so I thought, why not add that to this map? Like so, there you go. Um, so as you can see, there's some interesting sound effects at play here, and that's what we're going to cover in this video. Hey guys, Kalov here, and I'm back today with a cool little concept. This is for what I call 3D uh, audio in a Minecraft map, and it's not really the best thing. Like, I haven't refined it very well, um, but I think it's good enough uh, to to be pretty convincing and work fairly well most of the time, and it's pretty simple to do. Um, so as you might have seen before, as you walk across different places that have wood, you might notice a slight change in the pitch due to me being closer to walls or closer to different things. And um, it's really simple to do this actually, because I tried to make it the least laggiest way. And you might have noticed in this house, um, this house gives you the best e example. Um, so let's just, I'll just give you a second. So if I walk here, if you notice, watch. So it's way darker pitch, deeper pitched here. And then it increases pitch as I go this way. Anyway, sorry, I had, I, I just wanted uh, to make it obvious for you. Um, if these are artificial footstep sounds, so sometimes it sounds a little weird um, and I can alter how loud they are. Um, but as you can see, this is mainly how it runs. So I'm going to give you a more command based look right now. So essentially, this is how it works. So we have two clocks running. One is going really fast. This is for the running sound effects. Um, and the other one is going kind of fast. This is for the uh, walking sound effects. Um, so it's pretty simple. So you have some scoreboards. One is detecting if the player is walking. So if the player is walking, um, then what it will do is set their walking score to zero. Then if you are standing on planks, it will stop player sounds for you, so you won't hear footsteps if you're walking on planks. Um, you'll hear footsteps normally, though. Um, and then if you are uh, running, it'll set your running score to zero. This doesn't really need to be here. It doesn't make a difference. Um, but then the next, the, this is the main set of the command. So these are just to reset certain functions. Um, obviously, these are getting played slower. So um, if I'm walking, uh, it'll it'll continue to set my score to zero, uh, but it'll still be able to detect my walking because it just it updates your scoreboard really quickly. Not too big a deal. You can put these anywhere you want. Um, but then it is activating all these command blocks. So these are not really special at all. They're the same command repeated. Um, it's executing at anybody that's walking, detecting at elevation two. Uh, if there's a specific type of wool, depending on the color, and it'll play the block.wood.step uh, at a specific pitch. So if there is a wool of zero, um, when I walk, it'll play a pitch of 1.2. So you might notice that's a little higher pitch, right? And I'm going to walk across this, but this is pitch zero is 1.2. One, this is damage of one is going to be a pitch of one, uh, point 0.1, and then damage of two is a pitch of... Uh, one and then damage of three and it goes by point one. It changes by point one each time. You can set it up however you want, um, but check this out. So it gets kind of deeper as I get closer to the um, edges, which is what would normally happen if you're walking on a some wood that is say suspended above uh, a certain amount of space or even just wood in general. Um, but to differentiate, it, it wouldn't be that different. Like if it was just a normal piece of wood against the floor, the pitch would basically be the same all around. Um, but that's where you can adjust this however you feel necessary. Um, I think what it does, what it can do is it can help add to the map, uh, some, like, different sounds. People are like, oh, what's, what's this? This sounds different than the usual, and it might set them off guard, make them think this is something not as Minecraft-esque as Minecraft. You don't really hear footsteps, typically, when you're playing a map, so this might set them off a little bit. It'd be cool. Uh, and in addition, oh, there's Hawk Miner. <laughs> Um, in addition, the uh, you can also do this with other sound effects. I plan to have it play for like when you're walking outdoors in a map. 
Uh, you can have grass and trees. So as they get closer to the trees, you'll start to hear little sounds that you might hear near a tree, maybe some birds chirping, but as you walk farther away, you can't really hear them. And uh, the most complicated part is just setting up the mapping for yourself um, or what I like, you know, mapping the sound effects. Uh, so that's why this thing is all set up with all this colorful wool. So you just grab the wool like this, right? And then you just place it down um, in the places that you would want it to be in the house. So I'm seeing this floor, so I placed, I lined the edges with a deeper pitch lime wool. And I made the pitch go, so this is 5, 4, 3, 2. So I made the pitch go higher and higher the closer you get to the middle, as it would be. And then once I'm done, I just figure out where the positive corner of this is, stand in here, do clone, and then however big the room is, uh, like that, and then here, and then I do, the for where I'm cloning it to, it is elevation two, right where I'm standing, and it will clone these blocks down in elevation two, so it'll actually work when I walk across it. Um, so that's pretty simple. You can copy the commands from the description. Um, all you have to do is just set up a clock to run it, uh, it works with running as well. Um, you can. There's some other things you can do to fix this, uh, fix some of the problems. Because obviously, one problem would be um, telling the layers like what level you're on. So if I'm on a floor above, it will still play the same sound depending on where it is. Um, so you could alter it from detecting the elevation of two to be detecting like two blocks beneath or maybe 20 blocks beneath, and you just set it 20 blocks beneath. Um, but that's all up to you. The point of this was to show you how to like really make some interesting sound effects in your map. Um, so I'll probably have a little showcase with a bunch of sound effects. This whole place is going to be mapped out with um, different wools and different colors, um, but that's way later. Uh, anyways, that's about it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a kind of short video. I'm going to be working on this map some more, maybe releasing another 60 minute map sometime. Probably won't be adventure map based, I don't know. Well, I'll just have to see what happens in the future. But uh, other than that guys, uh, if you have any other suggestions for videos you want me to do, I can do those. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.